Hey, Ben Reeves. How's it going? What's up, Kyle? I'm Kyle Hilliard, as you just said, without the last name part. And we're checking out Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Can you say that again with feeling? As it released uh, in the past and how it will be releasing on October 6th. Yeah, you can check out the difference between the two versions. Like, literally, by watching this video, that's probably why you clicked on it. Mm -hmm. um, so we got the original Game Boy Advance version in the bottom right, which we recorded from the Wii U Virtual Console version, which is just, you know, an emulation of the Game Boy Advance game. And then on the top left, you've got the the new one, the remake, that's coming out on October 6th, which also includes, it's going to include an extra game mode called Bowser's Minions, which uh -huh. we won't get into in this video. This is just to show off how much the game has changed, or maybe even more accurately, how it hasn't changed, really, uh, in the intervening years. Right. Since, uh, since it's funny, because in my mind, this game isn't that old. So it almost feels weird that it is deserves quote unquote a remake or needs a, a remake yeah it's even going back and playing the wii u version it's funny i mean it's not really a remake anyone was asking for and i don't mean that in a, like a derogatory way it's not that people don't like this game it's just that it still looks great on game boy advance and uh it's easily accessible you can just play it on the wii u mm -hmm. so okay have at it but we don't we didn't really need yeah I don't know. in some ways i acknowledge that the 3D models look crisp and clean and good. And maybe it's nostalgia speaking, but something about those like classic 2D sprites, there's something there that appeals to me. Hey, this is worth calling out right here. Everyone's been up in, uh, up in arms? Is that They're not really up in arms. I'm not mad about it. Uh -huh. But Mario without a shirt on, this totally happened on the oh, Game Boy Advance. Years ago. Mario, everyone's like thinks Mario Odyssey was the first time he was brave enough to show his gut. Like we've never seen his nipples before. I know, but, you know. Little do you know. We just forgot about it happening in Mario and Luigi. It's interesting to see, like, the timing of something that looks different yeah and what version you're playing and that could be on like just our syncing up the two versions of the game but it i mean it i was i was surprised at how close they really are mm -hmm. uh, i mean the dialogue is pretty much ide is is identical there was maybe a few things in the new uh 3ds version like an entry was added to the battle guide for example that you know bypasses some of the like uh, tutorialization of the game which is nice right um but for the most part everything everyone says uh, at least in this first portion of the game, is exactly the same. And you played this, so uh, I'm made it advanced, easy right? for the the localization, folks. Oh yeah, probably did. Yeah, I played the old version. Well, the new version not out yet. I know I haven't played the new version, Reeves. <laughs> well, somebody did. Who captured that footage? <laughs> Who, did that? Who did this? Where did this magic footage come from? It was me. Um, oh, it is. You know, it is worth noting. Uh, you'll know Mario can actually do like a double jump to mm -hmm. do more damage. Uh, where in the uh, original he can only do one jump like you'll you'll watch him jump on Bowser and he can only do a single attack uh, so that's a strange update I imagine they've probably given everyone more HP I'm sure they've balanced it to compensate uh, yeah but Mario can't double jump to do twice as much damage oh that is weird seems yeah. like it would affect the gameplay in a lot of ways yeah so I don't know but in terms of like like looks they both look good i guess so maybe it's just kind of a matter of personal preference like which one do you pr prefer to play at this point yeah the new version has a lot more it looks you know more realistic i guess you could say it's still pretty cartoony you know uh there's more shadowing and there's more colors and it just it looks it's not it's not 3d the game can't even be played in stereoscopic 3d which is which is funny <laughs> Which is becoming more and more common in 3DS games is like up pushing that slider up to turn on the stereoscopic. Just doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's funny how small Bowser looks though in the original GBA oh, version. Wow. He looks really, yeah, he does look really Super squat. squat. There. It's yeah. like he has no neck. <laughs> and he's still missing the neck, I guess. But yeah, they, they definitely made him larger. This uh, castle explosion sequence is, is uh, much. Uh, I feel like the original it looked more scary. Oh. Yeah, that's. It's lame. So now we're getting into some actual gameplay. Uh, we're beyond cutscene stuff now. Do you think having that extra touchpad screen on the bottom will help at all? Uh, you can. It helps because you have all those different uh, abilities uh, that you use to like solve puzzles in the game. So having them on the touch screen means you can actually touch the screen to activate them rather than using the shoulder buttons to scroll through them. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Uh, and you can also throw the map on the bottom screen, which is nice as well. It's it's a bonus. I don't know if it necessarily makes the game better. It's just it's a it, it's a what's the word? A quality of life improvement. 
right. makes it a little bit easier to, to manage. There's Luigi. Yep, he's still he's still in this uh, the Bye, remake. It turns out you. they did not get rid of Luigi for the remake of Mario oh, Luigi. Didn't. You're right. That's strange. Remember the oh, they totally changed the model of the Koopa next to him though. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's weird. He uh, I guess in the past he kind of looks like he's dressed like a pilot or something, but in the present he's just looks like a normal Koopa. He even joins the crew down in the bottom where he didn't do that in the past. Oh my gosh, this oh, changes no, everything, dude. Okay. Look how crazy different this all is. <laughs> it's a completely different game. Oh my gosh. It's like I, Metroid Samus Returns all over again. Yeah, I, I do love seeing them side by side just to look at for all the little subtle changes. Yeah. So if this was that meme of the guy with his armor and his girlfriend looking back at that other girl, like which which game would you be looking back at? Mm, good question. Uh, it was I guess. a really good question. Thank you for acknowledging that, Kyle. You're welcome. I mean, I'm still kind of flabbergasted how amazing that question is. Right. Here, look. Oh, here's the weird... hand is reversed. Yeah, it's the that's left crazy. hand versus the right hand. Oh, that's weird. So some animator, like, had to, you know, push that up the, the chain of command He's and like, be like... Left-handed? <laughs> what is this? Can we please make this the correct handedness? Whatever that may be. So here's a little footage of the action here. A little footage of the action. That's right. Or big footage, depending on how big your monitor is. Yes, yeah, this is like when you're getting kind of trained on how to do some defense and stuff like that. <laughs> did a great job. Mm -hmm. Were you a big fan of this game back in the day? I liked this game a lot, yeah. Uh, I, I'm generally speaking not a big turn-based RPG guy. It takes a it takes a really magical one for me to see it through to the end. Okay. Um, this is one I, I don't think I ever beat the end boss, actually, but I did play it pretty much all the way through. Sure. This is kind of, it was just interesting. Was this the first, I'm going to show my ignorance, the first Mario and yes. Luigi one? This is the first Mario and Luigi. I mean, Super Mario RPG came out, and right. there was Paper Mario. And then Paper Mario, a couple Paper Marios. Yeah. And then they kind of were like, the Paper Mario series had diverged a little bit from what the original Mario RPG was. Mm -hmm. and so this was kind of a way of going back to some of those concepts, so those turn-based action concepts. It's, and it's, more more RPG elements, really, than the Paper Mario series now has. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's weird how that series just kind of diverged and split into two different takes on the same original concept. Yeah, they use that turn-based idea of timed button pressing to improve your attacks and, you know, be able to defend yourself and stuff like that. Right. But yeah, I it's don't... The, the Paper Mario series lacks a lot of that RPG upgrading stuff now. And it's funny because, you know, for a time you could have said, well, Mario and Luigi's the handheld one, Paper Mario is the, um, the console one. But now we've seen a Paper Mario game on 3DS, so it, it is very strange that both of these games uh, continue to exist as two separate franchises right. when they have so much in common. Well, they even, like, uh, bled together, right? They Was it last year they had the Paper Mario? Yeah. Uh, mashup? Think, yeah, I reviewed that one, and I thought that was really good. I, I think that was one of the better uh, Mario and Luigi games. Because uh, it had a nice... Uh, it, it, Mario and Luigi can run into this problem where it just spends so much time sort of talking in circles <laughs> and training you when it doesn't really need to. And I feel like the last Mario and Luigi did a good job of keeping the, the pace brisk. Yeah. And uh, the villain, not the main villain, but... Um, her, uh, oh, that looks like green. Oh, <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. She has green skin like that. Oh yeah, she's. A... Oh, that explains a lot about you. I gotta say. Oh. Uh, no, I was born here. You really threw me for a loop when you said that it looked like your grandma. But I was gonna talk about Fawful. Sure, Fawful. You remember Fawful, mm, right? He's huge funny. Fan. He's really funny. He I says things. Group. He was like doing meme speech before okay. everybody else was. Because this was, uh, you know, the internet was still uh, a <laughs> young man. The internet was still young. <laughs> what, what, 10 years ago? How long were you saying this was? Uh, oh, man, don't put me on the spot. I don't know the exact date that don't Mario Luigi came Don't put me here for out. facts, people. We're just, just watch the video. <laughs> just watch the video. <laughs> when I was in high school, we were just getting the hang of the internet then, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next it is, what? see, next it is the turn of you. That's good stuff, right? Next it is the turn. See, you chuckled. I do. This makes me do, want to go back and play one of these games. You're allowed to. 
And you know what, Kyle? I might. So don't tell me <laughs> what I can and can't do. I think this one, even the new one, this one, the remake, I think would be worth replaying. Because, I mean, it's it's identical, but it is, it's one of the better Mario & Luigi right. games. You know um, what, though? If you had, like, come up to me and said, hey, remember that Mario & Luigi game? And then you showed me the one on the left, I would have believed that was it. Like, in my memory, that's kind of how it looked, I guess. Yeah. But then if you'd also show me the one on the right, I would have believed you. So it's like, I don't know, my memory is just <laughs> fuzzy and fickle. But uh, looking at them side by side, I'm like, I'm still coming from <laughs> Well, when they announced it at E3, I kind of had that reaction, too. I was like, oh, they're remaking it? That doesn't look that different. It's not until you really put them side by side. But you see, it is it is pretty dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess they should remake all every Good. game they make. Well, yeah, sure. Go for it. When I can you stop remaking things? When are we going to get remakes of remakes? Oh, because uh, Hollywood does that. Yeah, that's got to be. I mean, you could look at stuff like... Maybe, uh, like, they did, uh, you know, Super Mario 2 got remade for Super Nintendo, and then it got kind of remade In that collector's edition? Yeah. But that was, like, barely. And then it remade. got, uh, well, the, from NES to Super Nintendo was pretty dramatic. But then it came out on Game Boy Advance, remember? That okay. was kind of a so remake kind of a remake. Of, yeah. They're out there. We're almost there. We're almost there. They'll, be probably re they'll probably remake Resident Evil 1 pretty soon, right? Sure. But when are we going to get our Citizen Kane <laughs> The Citizen Kane of video games. A lot of people have called a lot of games the Citizen Kane of video games. You can make a good argument that Mario Brothers is the Citizen Kane. Sure, I guess. I suppose. Well, it's got to be a, a game that was really disliked and sold poorly when it released, and only, you know, when people look back on it do they realize It how. has to be exactly like Citizen Kane in yeah. every way. And it's, the analogy to work. its creator has to do, like, wine commercials. And oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. That. That's that's crucial. And star in a video game about Transformers. Ah, yeah. So near the end of his life. Okay. So we could probably we could still sort that out. Right. There's some. They're still making Transformers games, so somebody could be in that. Something. Oh no. Oh. The turtle's gonna crash. I want to see the two crash animations side by side. So you can fast forward the. The new game? You can. Yeah, that was something that was in the last Mario and Luigi. It just okay. lets you speed up all the animation and all the dialogue, and which is awesome. And stuff? Uh, you can't... Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't remember if you can speed up combat because that's very much like uh, timed button pressing and stuff and stuff like that. I do like that in games where you can like speed it up, speed up the action, especially while grinding. It's really yes. nice Yeah. for RPGs like this. Yeah. This lets you kind of rip through the... Um, the sort of cutscenes, like you can st the 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 dialogue, you can still take at your own pace. But, mm. uh, but so, anyway, yeah, that's a uh, little bit of difference here. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a more sub it's a more substantial remake than I thought it would be uh, right. in terms of visuals. But it's I'm impressed at how true to the original game it is. So, mm -hmm. and well, thanks uh, for showing me, Kyle. Yeah, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions comes out October sixth. So there you go. Thanks for watching.